So tomorrow, students in San Diego will be joining thousands of others around the country in the March for Our Lives. They're going to be protesting gun violence in the wake of the Parkland shooting. And new this morning, 10 News reporter Jared Aaron spoke with the teens to find out how they're getting ready to make sure their message leads to action. Good morning, Jared. Good morning, Jason, Virginia. Right now, Waterfront Park is pretty empty, but tomorrow morning it will be packed with thousands of teens and their supporters, and they're going to march up and down Harbor Drive to try and bring some awareness to the issue. They say they want to try and end gun violence, and they've already been hard at work to make that happen. They've walked out. Enough is enough. Spoke up. How many more students have to die? And now thousands of teens in San Diego will march, the culmination of a month-long call to action in the wake of the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody really believes in our message and the message of this march um, to call for uh, gun reform and for the safety of our students. To get ready, teens held sign-making parties all week, putting in writing what they feel in their hearts. The movement's been spurred by social media. 6,000 people registered for the march through this Facebook page. And even while our camera was at the sign-making party... Everybody say hi to Facebook. Um, hi, Facebook. They posted this video to spread the word. It says our voices are our bullets, so I just want to project the fact that your voice is a very powerful thing that you have and that you should be, um, that you should be able to use it. As a student myself, I want to make sure that students are protected in their schools, they're going there to learn, not to be shot or killed by some person. The nationwide march is a call for action over thoughts and prayers. The kids want a ban on assault rifles, a ban on high capacity magazines, and closing loopholes on background checks. I mean, this is something that I'm having to now live with in my everyday life, and I'm not okay with it. So how do I say nothing? How do I be silent when this is my school that's being affected? Well, the march begins at 10 o'clock tomorrow here at Waterfront Park. There are also similar marches in Encinitas and Escondido. Live downtown, Jared Aarons, Ted News. Hey, Jared, you know, we've seen other events at Waterfront Park, and those have meant traffic problems. What should people expect this weekend? Yeah, with uh, so many thousands of teens already signed up for this march, plus all the other people, the traffic could get pretty bad. There is one way to kind of avoid it and help out with a little bit, Lyft. The ride-sharing company is offering free rides to anyone coming to the march. They're doing that in 50 cities around the country, including here in San Diego. You just have to RSVP online or get a code on their website. All right, free lift ride. All right, Jared Aarons, thank you very much. Live downtown. Well, there's another big shakeup in the president's inner circle.